up guys welcome to your sixth JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over something called arrays now what an array is is pretty much a way to store a bunch of information in a single variable so say you had a bunch of names that you wanted to list out all you would have to do is type in one variable and you could store as many other pieces of information inside that as you want and it's easier just to see as always so I'm just gonna start doing it and walk you through the process now there's two different ways that you can write an array the first way is this first you have to declare your variable and we'll call our actually we'll call it names and then you have to type in new array and the word array has to be capitalized now all the values that you want to stick in your array have to go in the parameters so say we want our first name to be Tony and our second name to be Mike and our third name to be Dan so now this value this variable name has three values Tony Mike and Dan now you're thinking alright so how do I actually get to the arrays and spit them out on the screen well to do this you need a different kind of syntax and that's using the square brackets so let me just alert this so it pops out on the screen and anytime you wanna recall an array you type in first the name of the variable which ours is names and in square brackets oh man and in square brackets you type in whatever number you want so this is going to be the fir actually the second element in the array and I'll tell you why it's a second although we typed to one the computer doesn't count like mean you counts it starts with a number zero so it counts Tony equals zero Mike equals one Dan equals two so although we have three elements that are labeled zero one two so right now this is gonna output the word Mike so let me save this and show you guys what it looks like as you see our JavaScript now outputted the word Mike so again anytime you want to make an array and store a bunch of values in a single variable say you had a bunch of names you want to list you would type new array and then you would type the word whatever words you want separated by a comma remember text goes in quotation marks numbers don't so as you can see we now have this syntax to write an array so that leads us into our second way that we can write ar arrays if you wanted just to type them out hand by hand I'll just start again to clarify things first we would declare the variable again we'll call ours names that's going to be our array, array and we'll type in new array and we'll leave our parameters empty now anytime we start to type in our, our array we could just set it equal to whatever we want the values to be so at first we would write names and in square brackets remember you start with zero and then you type in the value you want I think we had Tony for zero and then you just go down the line and this is the exact same syntax um, actually I thought I had Mike and of course for our last one we'll just have a last one and we'll call it Greg and this right here is the exact same syntax that we did before and it's just better so you can visualize it easier so again if we went down here and said alert and then we typed in names and then let's do two and we outputted this on the screen as you can see it outputted Greg now 
just experiment with these and you can see that there's two different ways of doing the exact same thing some people prefer the first over the second I prefer this me method because it's easier to see your variables and your values and arrays are very useful when you have a bunch of similar values and you want to stick them inside a like variable so study this and watch my next tutorial thanks